Hi everybody. We're going to work on system of equations today and we're going to choose to use substitution. Eventually you'll be able to choose between graphing and substitution and elimination methods, but today's um, video needs to focus on substitution. So these particular um, systems work well for substitution because you'll notice that you have a single letter on both sides. Sometimes that's X and sometimes that's Y, but you do have a single letter on both sides. And so what we're going to do is we're going to substitute. So for instance, if this Y equals this, then this Y and this Y are the same, these two also have to equal each other. So let me show what that means. I am going to substitute this, because it equals Y, in place of that. And so I'm going to rewrite it. So it is 4x is equal to 3y take away 1. And now we're just going to solve it like a regular algebra problem that you know how to do with variables on both sides. And we end up with x is equal to negative 1. Once we know that, we're going to take this number right here, and since it equals x, we're going to substitute it right there. So we now have 4 times negative 1, which is equal to negative 4. That means y equals negative 4. And we're ready to write our solution. We have ordered pairs, um, x comma y. And so this is my final solution. We're going to do the same thing on question number 2. We're going to look for something easy to substitute. So again, this time I don't even have a second letter. I only have y equals negative 3. So let's just substitute this in place of this immediately and see what happens. So we now have negative 3 is equal to 2x plus 3. And we're going to solve it like a traditional um, two-step equation. And we work it out to x equals negative 3. Well, you already know your solution. You don't have to do any substituting because you have x and you have y. We have an ordered pair. So let's go ahead and record it here. We have negative 3 comma negative 3. Done. See how easy that worked out with substitution? Much easier than having to get my calculator out or my graphing calculator and type it all in. All right, so let's look at a couple more problems. So what you're going to notice here is I have a simple solution or simple equation that I can put in here. So again, I'm going to substitute all of this in place of this. So when we rewrite it, it looks like, and now it's an equations on both sides. So let me show you how I would show my work. Um, I want to add the smallest one to both sides and that would make these cancel out, and I'd have 4x. But I still don't want this over here, so I'm going to go ahead and add 2 to both sides, so these would cancel out, and now I have it equal 12. And I'm going to go ahead and divide by 4, and I have x equals 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this x equals 3, and we're going to substitute it right in here for this equation. So I now have 3 take away 2, which is equal to 1, and so y equals 1 and x equals 3, and so there's my ordered pair. Completely solved. All right, one last problem. And again, I picked an easy one to end with because look, you already know what x is. So you can substitute this x right there. So we're going to go ahead and work it out. I have 3 is equal, y is equal to 3 times negative 1, take away 12. When I do my computation here, I'm going to end up with negative 15. And so I'm ready to write the answer. X is negative 1. Y is negative 15. Final solutions. I hope you got them all right today. Great job. Thanks for working so hard.